how does Jesus call me to deeper friendship during these challenging times? Good morning. My name is Father Frank Buckley, and welcome to our morning meditation group. This morning, it will be a pre recorded session because I have a all day uh, licensing workshop to attend to uh, keep my license current uh, in psychology. So I apologize for not being live, but we will do this today and tomorrow. And Wednesday, we will be back to our usual time at nine o'clock. So to begin, if you're new, happy Monday. Today is Monday, June 8th. And uh, the way the morning practice works is we begin with a um, short little source of inspiration, and then we move to the heart of the program, which is a 20-minute silent meditation. Uh, tomorrow with uh, Archbishop Gomez and the whole Diocese of Los Angeles, we will uh, dedicate our 20 minute practice uh, to, of silence uh, to the uh, prayer for, um, for all of the victims of police brutality. Um, and uh, then the last third of the program is we do a little Ignatian examine. Would Ignatius uh, believe so much in the importance of reflection and noticing where's God acting in the world and where we might be missing it, that the last little few minutes before we begin our day is just to notice where has God been alive and moving in our life, or where we might have missed him. So this morning, as you all know, these have been very, uh, trying times so uh what i would like to do is to return to something that uh really has been helpful to me uh father adolfo nicolas father general of the society of jesus uh who just died a few weeks ago um was really an amazing courageous man and he was uh, he really did heroic leadership with the Jesuits. He invited us again and again and again to wade into deeper water. As Jesuits, as lay colleagues, I believe this pandemic, this time of racial unease, is a time to row to deeper waters. And none of us can do this alone. On Sunday, we celebrated uh, Trinity, the Feast of the Trinity. So for our inspiration, nothing new to this community, I would like to go back to a prayer Father General Sosa, our current Father General, shared with us about hearing uh, the death of Father Nicholas. I am a big believer in the intercessory of saints. I am certain Father General is smiling down on us, is caring for the society in the way he spent his entire life, but now doing it alongside St. Ignatius, the Trinity, Our Lady. Brothers and sisters, we are in good company. So here again is Father Nicholas's prayer. Lord Jesus, what weakness did you see in us that made you decide to call us? In spite of everything, to collaborate in your beautiful mission. And we give you thanks for calling us. And we beg you not to forget your promise to be with us to the very end of time. Frequently, we are invaded 
by the feeling of having worked all day in vain, forgetting perhaps that you are with us. We ask that you make yourself present in our lives and in our work today, tomorrow, and in the future not yet to come. Fill with your love these very lives of ours, which we put at your service. Take from our hearts the egoism of thinking about what is ours, what is mine, always excluding, lacking compassion and joy. Enlighten not only our minds, but our hearts also. And do not forget to make us smile when things do not go as we wished. At the end of the day, of each one of our days, help us feel more united with you and better able to perceive and discover around us greater joy, greater hope. We ask all this from our reality. We are weak and sinful. But we are your friends. Amen. I cannot think of a better way to begin our week than with this prayer. So let's get ready for our meditation. Find a comfortable space. One of the ways we flourish is to unplug from all technology. Don't worry about the timer. I have my handy iPhone, which I will set for 20 minutes. And we will begin and end with the sound of the bell. If you're new to meditation, I invite you to just find a comfortable seat. Give this 20 minutes to God. Turn the gaze inwards. Take the attention to the breath. You can choose a sacred word. It helps a lot to kind of focus the attention. The word can be anything that has meaning to you. Repeat it five or six times, and then drop down to deep rest. If thoughts come up, simply repeat the sacred word a few times, and then drop back down to deep rest. I invite you to lower the eyes or close the eyes, whatever is comfortable to you. Take the attention to the breath. Engage the sacred word. And let's begin. Listen, listen, the sound of the bell returns us to our true home.
We only have about a minute left, so for this last minute, I invite you to just put a gentle smile on your face. It takes seven muscles to smile and 47 to frown, and just notice if anything shifts. Please continue. Gently bring your attention back to the room. If your eyes were closed, go ahead and open the eyes. Happy Monday. Wonderful job, everyone. For the uh, exam, we're going to do a little something different today in the spirit of Father Nicolas. Uh, he talks about friendship with Jesus. Um, St. Ignatius used a Spanish word, con, con ami, conmigo, which means with friends. So I invite you for your Ignatian exam in today to do something a little different. We'll mix it up. Either go for a walk and just talk to Jesus friend to friend. And in that conversation, just give Jesus a little time to talk to your heart. Have a beautiful morning, and I will see you again tomorrow morning. I'll be here at 730, but it will be recorded live, so it will be available to you at 9. God bless.